Hello friends, and welcome back to the Fandom Alchemists. Now that everyone's getting their fill on playing Sora in Smash Brothers, I thought it would be fun to see what would happen if Sora was involved in even more Nintendo projects. Maybe traveling to Nintendo World in Kingdom Hearts 4? Hey, you doubters, Smash Brothers Ultimate made me a believer that anything is possible. But in the meantime, let's just imagine and see what a Kingdom Hearts game could look like if Sora traveled to the worlds of Mario, Link, and even Pokemon. So, let's dive into the heart of these Nintendo franchises in 3, 2, 1... Let's hop in the gummy ship and fly over to the Mushroom Kingdom. The Mushroom Kingdom is of course from the Mario franchise. Mario Odyssey is a bit of an oddity in that the aesthetics from kingdom to kingdom varied wildly and doesn't hit at the core of what you'd expect in a typical Mario game. So this iteration of the Mushroom Kingdom will be based on Super Mario 3D World on Wii U and Switch. Here, Sora, Donald, and Goofy will team up with Mario and Luigi to rescue Princess Peach from Bowser in a platforming adventure. Levels can be based on three distinct areas, the regular field levels, the underground, and of course, Bowser's castle. Their final encounter will be a giant heartless looking Bowser, not unlike Fury Bowser from 3D World's re-release add-on, Bowser's Fury. Next world we'll visit is the world of Hyrule. Hyrule is the main land that you explore in most of the Legend of Zelda games. This world, however, will be based on the Breath of the Wild iteration. This version of Hyrule pretty much foregoes the series staple of dungeons, with the exception of one more traditional dungeon, Hyrule Castle. Sora and friends will team up with Link as they traverse through Hyrule Castle solving puzzle after puzzle. Sora can also find in a pedestal a special keyblade based on the Master Sword. At the peak of the castle, we'll find Zelda holding off what appears to be a Ganondorf who has fallen into darkness, and transformed into a Heartless that resembles Calamity Ganon. Zelda will then join the party to help seal away Calamity Ganon for good. Now we're off to the next Nintendo world based on the world of Pokemon. The region that Sora and crew will land in is based on the Gala region from the latest entry of the Pokemon series, Sword and Shield. Here, Sora will meet up with Leon, Hop, and Gloria, where he'll have the choice of three starters, Grookey, Scorbunny, or Sobble. Hop and Gloria will then pick the other two starters that you don't pick. Through a series of battles similar to the Olympus Coliseum in Kingdom Hearts 1, Sora will battle alongside his Pokemon partner who will eventually evolve sometime in the 50 or so battles that will take place. But before the final battle against Leon's Charizard begins, Leon is summoned by Rose to stop Eternatus from bringing the darkest day. Sora, Donald, and Goofy will then team up with Gloria and Hop to have all three starters assist Leon in the great battle against Eternatus. Later in the game, you can revisit the Gala region to finish off your battle against Leon. On your way to the next planet, you see a little star-shaped figure fly by. Then suddenly, you're looking at a star-shaped planet known as Popstar. This version of the world will be based on Kirby Star Allies where all of Kirby's closest friends and allies have all been kidnapped by Highness and the three mage sisters, who have all been working with the organization. Side note, these four straight up look like they were plucked from Kingdom Hearts. But anyways, Sora will team up with Kirby to rescue his friends one by one. On his adventure, Sora will encounter many enemies that will give him temporary buffs to some of his magical abilities like fire, ice, and thunder. Kind of like how Kirby's copy ability works. Traversing Popstar will ultimately lead to a final showdown against Highness and the three mage sisters, after being sucked through a black hole into an arena that looks like the dive into the heart. Now, on their way to the next world, the gummy ship gets caught up in a space dogfight over a blue planet known as Corneria. This version of Corneria will be based on a combination of the versions found in Star Fox Assault and Star Fox Zero. A huge amount of Heartless will be coming from a portal in the sky to invade Corneria. Here, Sora meets up with Fox and Falco to help fend off the Heartless invaders from the portal. In the first phase, they will be on foot fighting the invaders alongside the Cornarian army, before entering into a second phase in a huge dogfight in a gummy ship alongside Star Fox and their Arwings. This ultimately will culminate in a final confrontation with Andros deep in space. Once defeated, as a last ditch effort, Andros explodes, causing Sora and crew to crash land on a mysterious new planet. Sora awakens to find himself alone on ZDR, a planet that houses seven hostile robots known as Emmy. This of course is directly pulled from the newest Metroid game, the long-awaited Metroid Dread, though this version of the story will be a much simpler one. 
Sora will team up with Samus, who is also awakened without any of her powers. Together, they team up to search for Donald, Goofy, and all of Samus's powers while avoiding the constant pursuit of the Emmy. This world will have many paths that Samus and Sora can take that will slowly open up as more of Samus's powers come back. Rather than a single boss fight, this world will have seven major battles against each of the Emmy. Once reunited with Donald and Goofy, Sora says his farewells to Samus and heads off to the next world in a now repaired gummy ship. Sora and crew next land in a world with lots of tropical islands. This Animal Crossing world will be based on the latest in the franchise, New Horizons. Upon landing on one uninhabited island, Sora meets a tanuki named Tom Nook. Tom will task the player with protecting the island, as villagers slowly but surely build up the island to become a bustling island paradise. Tom will pay you for your efforts, and you get to spend all your hard-earned money for things like new buildings, new landmarks, and upgrading stores. No villager will join your party, but you'll at least be able to talk to the villagers as they come and build up the island. The boss battle of this world will be based on two of the most dangerous species in Animal Crossing, tarantulas and scorpions. These two large heartless will be the final wave of enemies before your island paradise is complete. Last up will be an optional world found in a book similar to the Hundred Acre Wood. Yen Sid and Mickey have found a mysterious book with a green dinosaur on the front of it. When opening it, Sora can hop in and travel into the world of Yoshi's Story. This iteration of the world can be a mix of the classic Yoshi Story art style and more contemporary art styles like Woolly World. This world will play super different as it won't really have typical combat like in the other worlds, but rather Sora will play a series of mini games to save each of the different colored Yoshi from Baby Bowser. This world can be optional and can be accessed at any time at the Mysterious Tower. So those are all the Nintendo worlds that I can see Sora traveling to if this version of Kingdom Hearts was ever possible. But if there's anything that Smash Brothers has taught me, it's never say never. Now I'm really curious to hear from you guys. What other worlds could you see Sora traveling to? Would you change any of the worlds that I chose? Please let us know in the comments, and thanks again for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Later.